Hey everyone, welcome back to KC3D Sparks. Today we're going to be continuing our campsite. I thought it'd be cool to add in some dead trees. So we'll just go ahead and hop to an empty layer. So we'll just do Shift A to add in. We'll go to Mesh and do Single Vertice, Add Single Vert, because that's actually all we need to start. We'll just go ahead and hit Tab to go into Edit Mode with our Vertice selected. We're just gonna go, uh, kind of focus in on it a little bit. I'm going to have be zoomed out. We're going to do E to extrude and basically just kind of rotate around as you go up. Make sure you do plenty of little sections and you don't have to be as dramatic. It's kind of just however you feel as your initial line up. Let's just do one more and we'll do like that and start going back and essentially adding branches to your tree. So we'll do this wouldn't mind another one this way. I want it to go up a little bit. So we'll do E to extrude like that. Bring that back this way a little bit. E to extrude and you don't have to be any, any type of precise or anything with this. This is definitely just free however you want it to be. I'll just do another one this way. Maybe angle that up just a little bit. And one just up like that. And I'm going to get rid of that one. All right, cool. So once you get your initial tree set up, of course you can keep tweaking this, do whatever you'd like, but I'm gonna go ahead and go to our wrench modifier tab. Do so add modifier and we're gonna do skin. So with this, as you can see, it's not perfect, but it gets what we need done. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just tweak certain things before we apply it. Go to front view, go into wireframe view so I can kind of see it a little bit better. And we're going to make this more dramatic. So I made them a little bit shorter than I would have liked. But now that we have the skin, it's really easy to go in and kind of see how our branches are going to look. So I'm going to grab this one. Pull that out, maybe like that, or actually we'll push this back down, do another E. There. I like that initial shape. So if you want, feel free. We can do tab out of edit mode. I'm just gonna rename this to tree base. So this is kind of our initial setup. I'm gonna do Shift D so we get an additional one and I'm gonna do, we'll just do tree. And we'll go ahead and apply our skin modifier. And we can tab into edit mode and you'll notice that everything is applied. No longer do we have that single line of vertices going through. So now, obviously we don't want it to be in this exact shape first off. There are some issues, especially right here, that we do have to go back and fix and address. So anything, since we're gonna be 3D printing, anything that is intersecting, we do kind of have to repair, essentially. So easier, which don't get too intimidated. It's not as bad as it looks. So this area down here is actually all pretty good except for this section. So I'm just gonna switch to face select and we can kind of rotate around. Let's go ahead and delete that face. And we're just gonna go ahead and delete this one as well. I know I don't need this one. And then I know these guys are intersecting. X face. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to vertice. I'm going to go ahead and do Alt M at last. So that becomes solid there. I'm going to do Alt M at last. At last to seal that up. 
we can do select these guys right here, hit F for face. You'll notice these two are disconnected. So I'm gonna go ahead and do Alt M at last. We can make sure, okay, so you notice here it is disconnected as well. So we'll do Alt M at last. And that should be all we need to fix. Okay, so that one is fixed and solid. Let's go ahead and check this joint, which that one's all good. This one is definitely messed up though. So again, I'm gonna switch back to face select and get rid of our extra faces first. Don't want that one. Let's go ahead and delete that. So for this, typically the easiest way for me to find stuff is just keep rotating and looking at it at different angles and then going in and out of wireframe view as well can typically really help me and hopefully help you guys as well. Go ahead and make sure we get these inside. Do, do, do. And we can merge a bunch of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch to vertex select mode. Alt M at last. X, just go ahead and delete this vertice. Um, or if you want to keep some of this angle, actually, we can do Alt M at last. Alt M at center, face that off. And that, oh, there is a hole here. So I wanna make sure this face, we don't want this, so delete that. There we go. So I know this isn't the cleanest way, but it definitely seems to be the fastest way for me to get the most organic looking tree without having to do all the extrusions and everything with the faces, with the like different boxes and stuff. Okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest on my own real quick and speed through that. And I'll see you guys in a second. So now that we have all of our joints taken care of, we'll want to go ahead and make it look just a little bit less boxy. So first thing I want to do is add a subdivision surface modifier. And I'm probably just going to leave it at one, maybe two. I'm just going to leave it at one for now. We're going to start sizing this up, but I don't want to just grab the bottom rings and hit S because it's going to not work as well as I'd like. I'm going to go down here to proportional editing and hit connected. From there, we'll go ahead, grab a section of this, go into front view, and actually I want our bottom to be flat. So to take care of that first, I'm gonna hit B for border select, S, Z, zero. Um, but I don't want that with proportional editing. So S, Z, zero, enter, and then switch this back on. And we'll go ahead and size this up. You'll notice that the ring controls the tree and all the vertices, but I don't want it to size up. So we're gonna do shift Z. So it just size it up like this. I'm actually gonna do shift E. 
I'm gonna make this joint in the center bigger. So I'm gonna grab this, scroll that. S, size that out. Let's see, what else can we do? We can go ahead and start sizing these down. To taper them off a little bit, so we can do it like this. And it also, because of the way we're adjusting our proportional editing circle, it will make it a little bit more organic looking as well. So it's not as rigid. I'll do it more like that and maybe even pull that out some more. So that way we get some really crazy cool angles going. And of course you don't have to have crazy angles. That's up to you, but I thought it looked really neat and a little bit more fantastical too. Let me size that. Oops, I just noticed there's a separation here. All right, we'll do this last one. We'll do this last one over here. There. Mm, yeah, I think I do just want to leave this as that. And there is our dead tree. So one thing you might want to note is that with all of these crazy angles, um, it might not stand properly like this. So you could certainly add in your own base. So all you have to do, grab your bottom vertices here, do E to extrude. I'm just going to size that out, but I also want to turn this off. E to extrude, pull that down. F to face that off and we can shift E to unsharpen that. So that way it's nice and curved there too. And there is a nice base, which of course you could just print it out as is and then do a base, um, do one of the pre ones that are already made so then you just have to glue it down, but that's up to you. So I'm gonna undo that because I don't want the base for now. I just wanna look at it as is. I'm gonna move this to our first layer and compare the size to our tents, which this is absolutely huge. So with our scenes tab, we wanna make sure everything's set to inches. And yeah, this is 11 inches high, a little bit larger than I would like. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start sizing that down four inches is much better, maybe a little smaller, like three. Something about as high or higher than our tent. So we can start having our dead trees, start making them different shapes, all kinds of crazy things. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick and easy dead tree tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions. And of course, if you have any requests as well, just go ahead and post all those down in the comments below. The fastest way to get a hold of me is through my Discord. So the link for that is in the description below. You guys can join my server and there is a Blender section in there as well where you guys can post questions and just talk about Blender to different people. But other than that, thank you all so much for hanging out. So sorry for the lack of video last week. I could not get my setup to work, so I just had to take a week off. And But don't worry, I'm back and I will see you guys next week.